I'm here at the United Nations, which was founded in 1945 as an international peacekeeping organization. But over the years, the US, Israel, Canada, the UK, various international organizations and political leaders have accused the UN of being biased against Israel. Let's go back to the beginning. Israel has been a member of the UN since 1949. Not long after the UN General Assembly approved the partition plan for a Jewish state and an Arab state in 1947. As a more Israel became a state, with thousands of Arab citizens like me becoming Israeli, while the Palestinians rejected the partition plan, leading to ongoing conflict. Today, numerous UN bodies address the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. In fact, some say disproportionately. For example, from 2006 to 2019, the UN Human Rights Council condemned Israel 85 times, more than double any other countries, with regimes like Iran receiving only nine condemnations and North Korea receiving only 12. It has also condemned Israel more than any other country in the world combined since its creation. And then there is the UN General Assembly, which adopts about 20 resolutions against Israel every year, and five for all other countries combined. Is Israel really so much worse than all other nations? Today, Israeli Ambassador Gilad Ardan is Israel's voice at the UN, where his job is to make sure that Israel's side of the story is heard. I believe we should always be on the offensive and expose the hypocrisy at the UN. The Security Council, for example, should be ashamed of itself that instead of condemning a rogue state like Iran, they prefer to use their debates and focus only on Israel. Historically, Israel's ambassador has always played an important role in the UN. From the legendary statesman Abba Evan, the first Israeli ambassador to the UN, to Chaim Herzog's famous tearing up of Zionism as Racism Resolution in 1975, to Ambassador Gilad Ardan today. I will never stop fighting for Israel's standing at the UN. And today, I'm even more optimistic because the world's shifting priorities allow me to showcase Israel's innovation and remarkable achievements. And thanks to the widening circle of peace in our region, we have many more friends here at the UN that understand that the real problem is with the Palestinian incitement and rejectionism. Whether you agree with Israel or not, it's hard to deny the focus on Israel in the UN seems excessive. I mean, come on. Israel, a democratic state, is condemned more than Syria, Iran, North Korea. But with an inside man, Israel believes it's important to continue in the fight for the truth at the UN. 